It's it's time for duct tape dudes. I was scared the entire time you were spelling that. I had no idea where we were going or where it was going to stop. And even now, I'm still quite scared. There was only 142 people that heard that because everyone's still coming into the room. So I feel like I want to do it again. If you, oh God, really? Just qu- oh, I'll do it God. quicker. Give me a D-U-C-T-T-A-P-E-D-U-D-E-S. Duct tape, dudes. I was really excited. Wow. Well, thank you. I've been spelling it out. Uh, that was amazing. And to all the people that are filtering in at the start of this show, run. Run, run. run. Still can. Because Phil Get is out. Really, he's on something today. Duct tape, dude. Duct tape? I thought it was duct tape. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to suggested duct tape, and Bonesy yeah. suggested duct tape with a fight. Quack, fight. So it turns out duct tape is the universal name for all tape like that. However, there is a brand called duct tape that is duct tape. So they're both. They're confused. Well, according to Wikipedia, it was originally called duct tape because of a kind of weaving mesh that they make duct tape out of, but then it just changed to duct tape because people thought that it's the tape that you use for AC vents and ducts. But apparently what? that's not the case. And then some brands just came and took it. Deep lore of wow. duct tape history today. We're hitting you with the thick Wikipedia <laughs> third paragraphs here on Dan and Phil live on stereo. Yeah. Um, Does... Duct tape dudes, though. I don't know how I feel about that. It, Why? It's a bit kinky. <laughs> Is that... I don't know. Is that just Dan, my mind? <laughs> anything, anything is kinky uh, if you say it in a certain way. I could be like, Yeah, dudes. packing pals. What are they packing? Yeah. Coffee. Telephone dudes. Stop yeah. it. Um, duct tape at the top bar. Welcome to Dan and Phil. It's a Thursday. Strap yourselves in. The weekend starts early. And Am I going to regret might... something? Yes. <laughs> Strap in. You might have seen that Dan is in Cloudcore today. Ugh. Because if you look to okay, my Instagram need to story, this. yeah, you will see that Dan is in Cloudcore, and he is in Cloudcore because he lost to the master of Mario Kart, Philip Michael <laughs> Lester. <laughs> <laughs> so right, Phil was Phil was trying to organise the hellscape that is his closet because he's I don't know just a freak that stresses me out, yeah. and. We found all of the outfits from his Viewers by My Outfits video. And then Phil said, hey, Dan, you should wear this. It'd be good content. And I said, no, because yeah. I don't want to, which is entirely within my right as a human being. So then we were doing a bit of Mario Kart, which Phil uses as like a midday icebreaker. And Phil said, if I win four races in a row, then you have to wear a blue cloud-covered sweater, which is absolutely disgusting. I'm probably going to have an allergic reaction or break out in a rash. I simply thought that was so unlikely it would never happen. And then I got absolutely effing screwed yeah. by baby ironically, Rosalina. Ironically, on Cloud Top Cruise, my favourite Mario no! Kart course, <laughs> which is Cloud! Oh Everything's my God, connected. The so anyway, Phil forced me to wear colour. I'm extremely sad. And you did a poll, actually. Um, I'm very interested in this. Um, All right. What... I asked if people would like Dan to wear more colour. And 86% now, I, I exp- percent, what? 86% said What? Yes. Are you kidding me? It was... After I explicitly said in my Instagram story that you need to respect my individuality and my right to choose what I want to wear and express yeah. myself. 86% were like, shut up, Dan. <laughs> Get in the pastel outfit. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, I, I would love you all to correct that. So if there can be an agenda, I, how long is left in the poll? It's like 24 hours. Right? It's 20, 24 hours. I will be right, passing we'll, judgment. But we'll, there we we'll go. see if um, the, the darkness creeps in. Um, however, my yeah. horror may not be over. No, your horror may not be over. As if you lose tonight's game night, you're going to be in <laughs> frog core, which is the full frog outfit involving Crocs uh, and short green shorts. I'm oh my god! Do you want to know it. something? I hope you know lose. Something. I have yes. never put on a pair of Crocs in my life. You're about to have your life changed, man. It's a well, it's a, it's I a better revelation. Win. 
Well, what's <laughs> happening in tonight's show, Phil? People are well, here. They know that there's the, a, a severe threat against my life on the table. So what the hell is happening? I'll tell you after we've said hello to one person. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well today. Oh, thank you. How Hi, you Ainsley. 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 <laughs> I, was, I was worried for a second. It was like Ashleen. What's that one? Uh, How'd you spell it that? was That's close like to a- Ashleen. I- or Shibola. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, or, I think it was Ainsley. Or Neve. Or what's some other chaotic names? Anyway, is in answer one. to your question, no. No, I'm not doing okay. I feel <laughs> um, manipulated and I'm scared of what is about to happen. Do you not feel light and fluffy, Dan? That's what I thought you would feel. Um, I anyway. feel a bit comfortable, but mostly tense. My ass is clenched extremely sure. hard. We're going to have a lovely show tonight. <laughs> we're going to be... We're going to be talking about some cringe coming up. Ooh. And also, you should stick You can stick around for the whole show because tonight's game night is going to be the inaug- inaugural <laughs> Stereo Spelling Bee. I'm excited about it. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Sure. Yes. <laughs> That's really something. And I have to beat you in order to protect myself. I feel why, weirdly confident about that. Anyways, that's how I am. In answer we- to uh, Ainsley Harriet, who asked the question? <laughs> Ainsley, Ainsley asked the question. How are you? How are you, Phil? Because you've had I've, a day. You had a morning. I've, I've had a day. <laughs> I injured myself in the lamest way ever today. Right. So we did on this, brand for Phil. Yeah. We did this brunch thing over Zoom with some other creators. And it, we had some toast with some sourdough bread. And this was the hardest bread you've ever experienced in your life. I didn't even know they made bread that hard. It was like that the was tasting a of a rock. That was stiff loaf, people. It was the stiffest loaf I've ever had to deal with. And we've got a blunt bread knife. And I was yep. trying to cut into this bread so hard, <laughs> I gave myself like... a blister on my finger from <laughs> trying to cut the bread. Just like imagine, gripping the knife. Phil, this six foot two, full ass man holding a knife, just absolutely losing to a loaf of bread. But you were like sweating, you were huffing, you were red. Yeah. You were screaming, you were heaving, and you just simply could not cut this slice of bread. And you ripped your own off, ripping the knife so hard. You got beaten up by a loaf of bread because you felt a time pressure to get on a bloody Zoom with a bunch of people. Well done, Phil. Yeah. That's incredibly on brand for you. My arm has never had such a workout. It's going to be huge. We've Ooh. got another hello. Yep, moving swiftly on. Hi. Hey guys, I'm supposed to be like watching Hi. this play, but like the actors aren't that good, so I'm tuning in. Hey. Mm, wow. <laughs> Shade. We can we can be the actors in your play. Maybe we could we, we could improve it. Somehow. Oh my god, Phil, you have to impress Rosa, or she's going to go to someone else's stereo show and then just absolutely yeah. go, "Hey, I left because these guys were talking about um, stiff loaves and duct tape, right. and I got scared." And I left. Oh, I'll give you... uh, Go on. I was just going to say, I'll give a dramatic mid-scene... Not mid-scene, mid-show break. You ready? Uh Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. Was that supposed to be your coming up next teaser, like a reality show? Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, I'm glad I'm glad that I interpreted that for all the people that aren't aliens listening to this right now. So <laughs> something very exciting and relevant to sexual and furry drama that's happened recently is yesterday we had a, a, a wildlife encounter taking the bins out. We saw a fox and I shit myself because I was creeping back from the bin rooms about two AM and then Phil was like, Dan, you're about to walk into a fox. And I almost walked into a full-on fox. And it was exciting. It was majestic. It was beautiful. That was one brave fox. And we made eye contact with it. It was super cool to see a fox out in the wild. Um, but yeah, I know I was talking about the fox from Robin Hood being sexy. I don't fancy <laughs> actual foxes. Uh, just to clarify, just saying, the, the CIA, the MI5, no. the Met Police, and the RSPCA that are listening, Phil was not sexually attracted to this actual fox. Okay, good. No. I'm glad that we clarified that. Yeah. 
Um, but it did it did also make me jump slightly i saw a post on tumblr a few months ago i don't know where someone from was it america was shocked that people in europe just have foxes wandering around the towns and cities <laughs> really? just hanging out uh, yeah they were like what you have a fox like everywhere and i'm like yeah the foxes are like rarer than seeing a cat but you do see a I fox mean, they, at least I, once I a month know. In, in Europe, foxes are just the suburban trash animal. They're like raccoons. Yeah. It's like, They're like our what's raccoons. that thing screaming and nibbling my bin juice? Oh, it's a bunch of foxes humping at 3am. Thank you for screaming like somebody that's getting murdered. I would much prefer raccoons because the fox sex cry is so it's loud. Terrifying. And yeah. It sounds like someone being murdered. It's horrible. Yeah. If you want to listen to that, just Google fox mating call. It's haunting. Um, so, so yeah, Phil, I much prefer after, raccoons. After disclosing to the many law enforcement services listening to this, you want people to go Google fox sex. <laughs> no, the mating call, uh, not the actual sex act. Okay. You know, that's not actually the first time I got jump scared by a fox. I remember once when I was a teenager, I got like horrendously drunk drinking Strongbow in a field. Absolutely terrible time. Don't recommend it. So many awful cringe it. memories. A good segue into cringe memories here. Oh, and yeah. I remember I just kind of sat on the floor and I was just vibing, thinking about how terrible and chaotic my life was. And a fox walked into me as I was just sat Rude. on the floor. I, because it, I, I was just sat there and I yelled. And then the fox yelled and it did that thing. You know when cats jump and they just leap about 13 and a half foot into the air instantly? I swear to yeah. God, this fox who I made jump and I screamed and the fox screamed, this, it leaped backwards into a bush at about 900 miles per hour. And I was so freaked out, I just started Oh my running. God. And then I was like, if someone looks out their window, they're just going to see some random, weird, gay teenager running around a suburban neighborhood screaming at 2am. So that's Dan, that's my legacy, and that's why yeah. I moved to London, just to get away I from bet, that. I bet the fox still tells his mates about that. He's like, that, remember when that God. happened? Well, this is a good segue into cringe. Why are we talking well, about cringing? <laughs> we're talking. <laughs> we're talking about cringe because... A woman in Washington must have been cringing as she went to a dinosaur park. What is a dinosaur park, you might ask? It's a park uh, that is full of giant plastic dinosaurs. And she thought it'd be a good idea to climb on top of a 12-foot tall T-Rex. Okay. okay. Yeah, seems like a pretty normal thing. I think I would want to climb the T-Rex for the Instagram, you know? I'd want to be riding it and then get a Absolutely. picture. Absolutely. Mount that giant reptile for the gram. Anyway, at that moment, she discovered for the first time that she was afraid of heights. And she was so afraid of heights. <laughs> what? She yeah. climbed it and there was just like, surprise Pikachu. I'm scared. <laughs> it happens. That's low-key iconic. Okay. She was so afraid of heights that she had to call the fire brigade oh. to <laughs> rescue her. <laughs> to get off, like a cat off a dinosaur. A remove yeah. me from the dinosaur oh dear wow yeah. and they actually had to bring a ladder and get her off it because she was would not come down so that oh. must have been a cringe attack for the rest yes. of her life jesus so today we want to know what are your cringiest moments and we'll give you a rating out of 10 <gasps> of cringe <laughs> okay, uh, yeah tell well, i'm gonna i'm gonna give that woman your... a seven right now yeah send in a voice yeah, message seven. telling us a cringe attack that y you can recall right now. See if you can beat I'm ours. writing it. Um, I have one that happened to me literally this week, which was, have we told them this or have we just told everyone else that I know I think we've I'm told trying to get people that, chest? I think we've told people that we know. <laughs> okay. It's completely me, our let, fault. Let me work out how to say this without sounding Say it horrible. nice. Um, <laughs> I was expecting a delivery of pages from my book that with some magical machine, I sign these pages, they go back to the book factory and they get printed in the book so that the books have my signature in them. Pretty snazzy. So I'm expecting this package, right? But I thought it was just going to get delivered by DPD or something. And the way that, you know, parcels work, they leave outside your door, some grumpy guys like, parcel, and then you have to go, thank you, but you're not allowed to open the door and they get shouted at if you, you know, whatever. You breathe on them. Exactly. So all fine. Um... Phil didn't know that this was happening. So, I mean, do you want to say your part of it? Because it's kind of your fault that I got into I, it's, this. It's, it's my fault, right? Okay, this person came to the door, and it was a nice lady, but she just said, mm. I've, got, I've got your box. And I was like, what box? And she said, I've got your box. 
I didn't realize that this person <laughs> the hell had, are you? They had a bit what of an box? accent. They had a bit of an accent and they're actually saying, I've got your books. Uh, so that was box. the, I've got your books. Okay. I've got your books. So I thought they were just a delivery driver with a box and they were saying it in a slightly weird way. So I was like, and you okay, were like, well, okay, come deliver it. Sure. Then. <laughs> and I said, I, and cause I don't like dealing with humans. I said, who's it for? And they said, it's for Dan. So I was like, Oh, okay. So I buzzed them in and said, Dan, someone's got a box for you. Phil just went, Phil didn't give me any information. Went, Dan, you got a package. And yeah. I was like, what? Why can't Phil answer the door? I was busy. I was doing things. Phil answered the buzzer. Go pick it up at the door. So then I'm like, okay, I don't know what's happening. Phil tags out. He just goes into the bathroom or whatever. I walk over yeah. to the front door and then someone just goes, hi. And I'm like, what? This is and through like, the Hello. door. Hello. Hello. And I was like, have you got the package? And then this nice lady went, uh, uh, yes, yes, I've got them. And I went, cool, just drop it on the floor, thank you. And then I just walked into the hallway and closed the door. Which is normal if you're expecting a normal package. Um, that was actually like the head of marketing from HarperCollins. Who <laughs> 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 personally came to deliver the books and say hi and have a bit of chit chat and say thank you and catch up. And basically Phil said, what? Books? Come in. And then I went, hi, hello, what? Okay, dropped them on the floor, bye, and then just left. And then, um, yeah. So, whoops, accidentally looked like we're the two weirdest and rudest people in the entire world ever. Innocent, completely innocent. But when I think about yeah. that, cringe. That's cringe. a cringe. How do Ooh. I explain this in an email? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think God. You're, just gonna, we're so, just, you're just going to remember it for the rest of your life. I'm so embarrassing. What would you rate that for me? <laughs> I mean, that was pretty painful. I'd, I'd rate that equal to the T-Rex. I'd give you a seven. Okay, okay. Well, let's see if uh, the audience can make this any better. What do you have to say? When I was in fifth grade, I tried to kiss this girl, and as soon as I was going in, she walked away, and I face-planted on the floor. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> did did oh. the girl see? I want to know if the girl saw the face plant. I'm assuming they did. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, did this girl see you coming? It's like, yeah. <laughs> like okay, oh, no. I mean, it would be very embarrassing if they knew you were coming in for the kiss and then just walked away, or if they didn't know. I mean, I don't know if that's what... I mean, there's two elements there. There's the fact that you got rejected, and there's the yeah. fact that you were so in the moment with the eyes closed, leaning forward, that you tripped. I mean, that is truly, truly Ooh. horrifying. That's, that's, that's a strong cringe. I think the fact that you fell on the floor, I'm going to give you an eight. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say eight and a half. That's really, that's quite that, traumatizing, that, to be honest. That, that really hurt me. I mean, Let's get another one. Set things back. Okay, hi. Yeah. Mine was throwing up all over myself on a plane on the way back from a <laughs> school field trip in front of everyone. <laughs> oh, if, there's, no. if there's one place where you don't want to do that, it's when you're stuck on a freaking flight. Like, not a plane. A closed environment where everybody who knows you will see what happened and will laugh at you, and there's literally nowhere to escape. But you also just have to sit and marinate in your own filth and shame. That is... Yeah. Yeah. That's, I'm not going to lie, Sam. That's pretty bad. That is, that's really bad. I'm going to give that a nine. I can't think of anything worse. <laughs> yeah, that's a nine. I'm, I, I'm cringing so much. What oh, about you, Phil? Okay. Do you have one? Yeah. All right. So uh, did I talk about the fact that the bath in our apartment broke and it was a huge ha danger hazard? Probably, Probably it happened. Yeah. Anyway, some guy came to fix the bath and obviously everyone's wearing masks because it's mask time. Oh, and, God. Sorry. I didn't yeah, remember you this. remember. <laughs> uh, so we kept our distance, let him do his thing, we kept our masks on didn't go in the same room at all. It was all fine. He fixed the bath for about two hours, yeah. but then he's like, oh, I, I need to get some parts. Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be back. I'll, I'll come back in an hour. So, so we're all good. He comes and back. you were very, very vigilant. I will say Phil is quite incredibly COVID conscious and you were feeling I'm quite so upset COVID. that you had to let someone in to fix our dangerous plumbing. So you were yes. taking every precaution and you really didn't like that someone had to come into the house. No. So this, this was anyway, your mindset. So he came back. I put my mask on, opened the door. I was like, hi. And then he had a new mask on. And I was like, oh, you've got a new mask because it was like blue instead of black. 
And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, I, la- I left my mask at yours, if you can have a look around. I'm, I'm sure I put it somewhere. In that moment, I realized I was wearing his mask. He left his mask on the side, and when Phil answered the door, he wore a strange man's face mask that he had just been breathing in for six hours. Oh. And, op- and opened the door to the guy who said, yeah, I had to get another one because I left mine here. Mine here. And he's just looking at some guy that for some reason is now wearing <laughs> his mask. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't like, notice. Are you like a weird pervert or so? I mean, uh, what, what would you, what would you even think? Look, I mean, oh my god, oh it was my a generic, god. it was a generic black mask. Oh um, my god! And yeah, I wore it, and then as soon as I remembered and realised, I ran upstairs and took it off and washed my face with antibacterial lotion. But it was probably I too mean, late. Anyway, he didn't have COVID because I never got COVID, but yes. it was the cringiest. <laughs> It was the cringiest thing ever, and I still have that memory, and it's sticking with me. What are we going to give that? A, a nine. An absolute... A nine. An it needs a nine. nine. I mean, on oh. a social level, that is just absolutely horrifying. Just it was direct so bad. Confronta- like, just bizarre. Awful. How do you explain it? And then the idea that you had someone's man breath condensation face just pressed against yours. Phil yeah. literally spent, I would say, an hour scrubbing his face, um, then rubbing hand sanitizer on his face, and then just using mouthwash about nine times. So, yeah, uh, yeah I think it, you it, win. I think I win. That was terrible. But we have another one. Maybe this can beat it. If someone gets a 10, then you get to get over the shame of what you did with that mask. All right? Yeah. I sent an email complaining about the recorded lectures to the wrong professor. <laughs> Oh no! So you're oh. complaining. <gasps> so, that's the worst, especially if you're. If I, I assume oh. you were thinking about a person, so you're thinking about a person, and then you com- sent your complaint to the person you were complaining about, or even oh. sending something to someone else, and then they hear your complaint. I mean, that's just yeah. That's like I I have serious fear about forwarding something to the wrong person. It's always that thing where. As well, sometimes if you're on an email and if it's like you're with classmates and there's a professor or someone you're working with and your boss, and then you reply to someone in the same email chain just without that person CC, just to be like, what do you think about this? At least yeah. twice in my life, I've done that being like, what the hell was that person on about? Anyway, what are we going to do about this? And then realize that no, that person is still on the email. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so bad. I'm really bad uh, as well. If you're yeah. in an email chain with people and then you just want to reply to someone about someone, I'm like, don't do it. It's not worth it. Just start, no, like, send just a text. Don't. Just don't, oh. yeah. Send a, send, a text. Me- send a carrier pigeon and then kill the carrier pigeon, set fire to the carrier pigeon and then eat the ashes just to make sure that the, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the leak doesn't happen. Never kill a carrier pigeon. They're too sweet. They're the relatives of Steve. Anyway, let's see if this one helps. I would rate that a seven. In high oh, yeah. school, I went to say hello to my crush in the hallway, and when I opened my mouth, just a giant spit bubble came out. <laughs> I died, basically. <laughs> that is oh. so classic. That is classic. That's like a moment where not even, like, what do you expect from the universe? At the very least, you want your own face to not malfunction in some way. <laughs> that is... <laughs> That is so horrible. Why, why do human bodies want to do that to you in the worst oh, moment? Yeah. Uh, oh. It's, that's oh, so I bad. You. I'm oh. going to give that a solid 8.9. 8, 8 point... Yeah. It, that's, I'm just imagining it and I'm picturing the spit bubble in slow motion and it's just... Yeah, it's scarring. I'm going to give it an 8.9, but I will say... I'm about to do this spelling bee, and obviously there's a life or death situation with a frog outfit. If the cringe submissions were a competition, I think you would win with the random tradesman's mask, Phil. Uh, yeah, I think I, th- I think so. I, I still think about that. When, even whenever I just see my mask, I'm like, remember that? So I can't get away from that memory. It's just stuck with me forever. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Are we, are we ready for the main event? Because I feel okay. like it's going to be... Uh, Equal parts hilarious and embarrassing. Let's for both of us. 
jump in to <laughs> da, 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 the inaugural <laughs> Dan and Phil Stereo Spelling Bee. Bum, 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 bum. How does it yeah. work, Phil? Right. It works this way. We would like you to submit words you would like us to spell. I think they should, <laughs> they should be... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, give us words to spell. I'm just going to say as well, this is extra funny because um, I'm, I am literally... I've just written a book. I'm a published author. And Phil yeah. supposedly has a literal degree in English language. So the shame is there. The pride yeah. is here. The fool is coming. I'm ready. So we want some words. I think they should be medium to difficult, but not like fully impossible, if you know if what you I mean. Send, so do, if so you send in supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, I'm going to block you. I'm not even joking, okay? They yeah. have to be medium difficult. Don't just Google what's the longest word in Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, we are going to have perils that we can throw at each other for the ones that we give each other as mm. well. I would also say to the audience, harder. they can just be chaotic with the words that they submit. It doesn't even have to be hard. You know, it's up yeah. to you to submit what you want. Throw in okay. some chaos. If Dan loses, he's going to be in the frog core at some point during next week. So I don't think I will. You will. So, Dan, I'm going to give you one first, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Round one. Let's hit Round this off. one. Okay. Round one. Dan... I would yeah. like you to spell dashund. Dashund? As, as in the dog, <laughs> the dog breed. Ooh, okay. But I'm, th I'm throwing in a peril. What? Okay, what's that? You have to spell it in a Australian accent. <laughs> How do you say the alphabet? In a... Good eye, mate. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to say that uh, dashund is spelt with a, a, a D and then an A. And then an S C H um, uh, U N D, and then you don't throw it on the Barbie because it's a dog, and that'd be illegal. You know what I mean? Uh -uh. Incorrect. What? It's not how to spell dash and. Is there is. a T in it somewhere? D A C H S H U N D. Oh, did I just say C H? You said S H. Shit! I was completely thrown off by the Australian accent. <laughs> you, I look. Look, I know how to spell dashund. I was concentrating on sounding Australian, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. Uh, I, I see how this is going to be. I see okay. how this is going to be. Okay, Phil, are you yeah. ready for your one? Yeah. I would like you to spell, and I'm not going to hit you with the peril right now. I'm playing fair and square. Okay. I would like you to spell iridocyclitis. <laughs> Iridocyclitis. <laughs> I should know that from the meme. <laughs> oh, iridocyclitis. Can you Irido please I spell iridocyclitis? I am looking cyclitis. at the words right now. Here we go. I R I D O C I C L I T U S. Oh! Close, but no cigar, oh. Phil. That is incorrect. It is C Y and then L I. So it's Psy and then S. But that was. I was scared for a moment oh, there. I felt well like done. I had it. But you do not get half a point because that's not how it works. Okay. No. Right. right. Let's get one Dan, from the audience. This is for you. From Millie. Be nice, Millie. Um, try to spell ostentatious. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good one. Phil, are you Googling it? I'm Googling it, yeah, to get the right thing. You got it? Yes. Okay, O-S-T-E-N-T-A-T-I-O-U-S. <laughs> T -T Did you just do a double T? No, <laughs> I was okay. picking up where I left off. Right. You're correct. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank God. Austin. Ding, 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 Okay, thank you. Millie coming in with the anti-bullshit. I love it. Right, Phil, are you yeah. ready? We've got one yeah. here from Charlotte. Who knows what they'll submit. I want you guys to spell the wonderful word superfluous. Mmm, okay, okay. I feel like we're warming up with these ones. This is nice. Superfluous. Okay. 
I'm going to go, I think I know how to spell it, but I'm going to Google it just in case I <laughs> embarrass myself. I'm ready. Okay. S-U-P-E-R F-L-U-O-U-S Oh, that is correct! Yes! Well done, Phil. Wow. <laughs> U-O-U. What a weird oh, that, word. That hurt my brain. Sort it out, superfluous. U-O-U. It's hitting us with the oo Right. Okay. okay. Round two. We've got no... We've got one point each. Um, hit I'm me with your next one, Lester. Dan, I'm keeping I would track. like you. I would like you. Is there going to be? A, is there going to be a peril? Is there going to be a plot twist for this one? Or are you going to play fair? There's not going to be a peril. Okay. I would like you to spell chartreuse. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Which, which is okay, a colour no. that we, we, we always argue about whether things oh, are green or yellow. I just know that there's, it's going to be like EU, 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 S. Okay, okay, right. Okay. C H A R T R E U S E. Ding, 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 ding. You are correct. <laughs> oh. And for the record, Phil, what colour yeah. is chartreuse? Green. It's a green-yellow. It's the mix between green it's and yellow. Yeah. And that is the colour of energy ammo in Apex Legends. Anyway, um, that's an argument we have every day. That is Bill, an argument. are yeah. you ready for your one? Yeah. I would like you to spell Bumblebee. Backwards. Go! Oh, my God. Go! Ah! E-E-B. E. -E <laughs> L. Yeah. Sorry, up. M. No, wait. B. 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 M. Oh. U. B. Uh, Philip, I think according to the rules of a spelling bee, <laughs> you, you said L. M. And it's not a bumblebee. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a different kind of B. That is, that's something that you get at the top bar. Yeah, that's, oh. not, that's not a different bit. Okay. Oh, um, Bumblebee. Damn it. Bumblebee. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, look, I did say a T, but I said that I was picking oh, up picking where I up. left off. So if we're going to, if we're going to go to the, the stewards here, should yeah. I give you that because I said a second T picking up from the middle, even yeah. though I did that? Uh, yeah, I, th I, I think this that's This is fair. me. This is me being more fair. Fine, you we'll, we'll probably be back. <laughs> we're okay. even Stevens. We're even Stevens. Ooh, okay, another right. one from the audience. Back to the listeners. Here we go. Dan, this is for you from Melissa. Spell preposterous. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, ooh, O's and U's. Where do they go? P. Are you, have you got it, Phil? I, I've got it. Try this at home <laughs> as well if you want to play along. P R E P O S T E R O U S. It's correct. Oh. Oh. You're doing too well, Daniel. <laughs> okay. Do not challenge uh, him in his spelling. When we. Oh, here we go. There's another one right now from Katie. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Anthropomorphic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> not, not the word of the week. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, can you use it in a sentence? Yes, I can. The fox that we saw in the alleyway yesterday was not anthropomorphic. Don't fuck the fox. No. Anthropomorphic. Can you Thanks. spell it, please, Phil? You are, you are now kicked out of the spelling bee. Anthropomorphic. A-N-T-H. R-O-P. O-M-O-R. P H I C. Do you think you got that? I don't know. I really hurt my brain. You got it, Phil. Yes. Well Ooh. done. Oh okay. my god. Oh my god. god. I'm sweating out of every. The Stevens area. are so even right now. I've never had an even a Steven. Okay, this is the final round. Two more each from us, and then and from, two the from the audience. Okay. Here we oh. go. Dan. Yeah. I'm throwing a peril at you. Yep. I want you to spell this backwards. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Philip Michael Lester. <laughs> okay. Uh, go. Fast. Go. Quick. R now. E T S E L L Oh, bloody Michael. A E H C. You already got it wrong. You got Damn the Michael it. wrong. Screw it's, you, Mike. Is it E A A E? It's E A. If you're doing it backwards. God. <laughs> God, you hit me with the backwards, Michael. Right. right I, I need to get this to gain the lead. Come on, Philly. You can do this. Phil. Think back to English. You love to sing this all the time, so it should oh, be no. easy to you. I'm scared. I'm I would scared. like you to spell Wyoming, the U.S. state, in French. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, Wyoming. W. <laughs> yeah. Y. <laughs> o. N. <laughs> E N J. Mm, is that how you pronounce G in French? Yeah, A P C D U F J H I J K L M. I'm googling this right now. Okay, go on. I did it. I just googled how to pronounce G in French and uploaded. <laughs> Of an eight-minute video. What, what is the, that? What they, the fuck are you doing? They need to get their YouTube? ad break in. They need Phil, to get the ad break. What? Simply for the Dubovay Y, I am absolutely giving that to you. Well done. Holy well crap! Done. Holy, I'm, 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 I'm excited, guys. I'm it, Neil. I'm I'm beating Dan now. We just need to get these last two. It's going to come down to whatever the hell you submit. Right, we've got oh. one already. Okay, this is for you, Dan. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm here. This is from Molly. I, I don't know where Anti-disestablishmentarianism, it's my favourite word. Yay. Anti-disestablishmentarianism? You little <laughs> snitch that wants me to spell the longest word in the English language. Oh my god, okay, okay. Everyone, like, tried to learn this when they were a I kid. Can't, because... I cannot, I cannot, did, uh, right. One of you fully just pulled the anti-disestablishmentarianism card. Are we here? Is this happening? We're here. Dan, you've got to spell it, and you've got to spell it quickly. Well, I hope you've all got 27 minutes. <laughs> okay, right, right. Oh, okay. A, have you Googled it? Yeah, it's a long are you, word. Are, are you going to my... keep up with this? It, it's filling up my whole screen. Is your okay, screen wide enough to read it? Okay, here we go. Oh, God, I'm going to be a frog, aren't I? Here we go. Right, right. Anti-dis-establishment. Spell it. Shut up, right. A N T I D I S E S T A B L I S H M E N T A R I A N I S M. Oh my god, he got it right. Yes! <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> oh. We're back even again, unless I get this one. Woo! Oh. Uh, apparently, I've if, you want to know what, if you want to know what that means, it means opposition to the disestablishment of the Church of England. What? Who made that word? What were they doing? I mean, it, isn't it just called, like, establishmentarianism? I don't know. <laughs> just, just stop. You right. can't put anti-not at the start of a word and make it a word, people. Sort your yeah. life out. Right. Okay. This is this it. Is it. This so is it. Already. I need to get this, this right. Comes from Kareen. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, they fucking did it. <laughs> the mad lad did it. <laughs> just, just, I, I think I know how to spell this because I think it is how it sounds. So I'm really going to try, okay? Okay. I oh will say now, it yeah. is how it sounds. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh my god, this is 
My whole life has been leading up to this moment. I'm so tense. I will wear whatever the fuck you want if you spell this. This is. I, oh I will God. say, even though we'd be even, this isn't all or nothing right now. Phil. Okay. This is it. This is all or nothing. This. Okay. I I just peaked in life two minutes ago, and now it's your moment. Super cali fragilistic expialidocious. <sighs> right. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna break it up into bits. S U P E R C A L I F R A G I L I S T I C. Oh my god, right. E X P I A L I D O Docious Docious C I O U S. Let's do it. No. I just broke it into little bits. Docious. Oh my god, I didn't know what docious was. That was a I was fully like making it up with docious. I'm running around the room right now. I can't freaking okay. You should be you should be hopping around the room, frog boy. Oh I don't even give a shit. I'll wear a frog, I'll get an all fours, I'll wear a bucket hat and I'll fucking rib it. I don't I don't Good. even care. Oh I can't believe that. Oh Holy my god. Shit. I'm I'm gonna put on some crocs. And I am not <laughs> even going to complain. Oh, that, that's the best thing I've ever done. I, I'm, I'm shooketh. I'm shaken to the core. I'm actually shaking. Yeah, I, I am. I, I, I'm shaking. Well, that was the spelling bee. Was Thanks it worth guides? Um, the years of debt from your student loan? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it was, God. It was not worth that. But... I enjoyed that. I always find those spelling bee shows on TV really addictive to watch, and I, I, I understand it. I understand why, because now I've lived it. I'm like, yes, that is, that is a fun game. I am you know? having heart palpitations. I've never been this scared in my entire life. I need no. to lie down now. And you know what's funny is when I was in uh, high school, I was in the lowest group for spelling. I had to have extra <laughs> spelling lessons. And, and and look, you show look, them, Phil. Look where I've look come. Look at the I glow sh- up. Look at your character journey. Oh my I'm, god! I'm just gonna send my English teacher from high that. school this that recording yeah. of me spelling that, and be like, "Look, look, this is all because of you and my extra spelling lessons." And they will finally retire, knowing that they achieved their ultimate dream. Yeah. Also, I feel like people didn't believe me that we had a, p- a pneumatics class where there was pipes all over the wall. <laughs> nobody could... believes any nobody of the believes weird me. stuff from your northern childhood, Phil. No. None of it was real. You did not have a steam pipe class. We did. No, teachers didn't hit you on the head and call you a goose or whatever that was about. That was cock, goose, or feather. They didn't hit you on the head. They pulled your hair, depending on how old you were. If, and the, <laughs> if you would choose... Someone must know cock, goose, or feather, right? And then they'd pull your to hair... To the FBI agents listening. And they I'm would give... so sorry. They would bring out... Man. They would bring out a cake that was made out of, like, concrete. And then they'd be like, cock, goose, or feather. And then you'd choose one. And they'd say, like, feather. And then they'd pull your hair for, like, I don't know, nine times, and then say something that rhymed with feather, like, we're in this forever, or something weird. I don't know. It was a thing. I promise it was a thing. That was what a thing. What the fuck? It's okay to be a compulsive liar, Phil. You don't no, I'm not lying! For anything, I'm Googling, we, we all I'm love Googling and you for who you are. Feather. Cock, Ooh, goose, or feather. You're, you're Googling cock, goose, or feather after saying fox sex. And fantastic, yeah. Mr. Fox. Here we go. To the go- CIA, I'm not this with is, him. We this don't is share e- an internet. Arrest him. Arrest him. Set me free. That was it. Look, did they, uh, this is on a forum. Did anyone from the school, this is a different school, do cock, goose, or feather, and they would knock you on the head for good luck. See, at my school, they pulled your hair. It, not like hard, just a little tug. 
and then Feather. Oh, was but, oh, but in their school, they just got punched in the head by their yeah. teachers on their birthday. Welcome to the valleys of Northern England, everybody. Partake in our yeah. culture. Yorkshire and tea Fe bags. Getting punched <laughs> in the head by your teachers. Feather was good luck forever. So I've still That's got the good nice, luck. That's nice, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, that was a tangent. Well, wow. Uh, this last 45 minutes has been the greatest emotional roller coaster of my entire life. I think this definitely lived up to the promise of whatever the hell I feel Thursday is supposed to be. So it did. Thank you, I guess. Thanks Phil. for coming. Um, You're if welcome. You haven't, if you haven't followed us on Stereo yet, make sure you click follow on both of our accounts because then you'll have a chance to win a Nintendo Switch Lite, some stuff from our apartment, or a cube. Yeah, nice. we'll see you next week. Um, on there's Tuesday. still like a few hours left on that poll, and if it doesn't go down from eighty, then I'm going to presume that you will hate me, and I'll be really upset. Um, so do do the least that you can to make up for whenever the hell yeah. this frog photo is happening. Great. Also, before we leave, uh, in England and other places are going into British summertime, so that means we'll be an hour ahead again. Right? We will be. Oh, our clocks, look at our you clocks. remembering stuff. Okay. Our clocks are going forward. We're getting less time in bed. It's happening for British summertime. Um, so to our not, not just zones, for England. These shows next week will be an hour earlier, but depending on wherever the hell you live, it might not happen because humans are great with time. I think what we'll do yeah. is we'll post some Insta stories with a countdown and then you just don't have to use your brains. Nice. Yes, I don't And I'll do that is. for myself. Um, so I look forward to not getting any sleep, being confused and stuff like that. Yeah. Wonderful. Have a lovely weekend. Have a sick weekend, everybody. I hope you're doing good. Thank you for spending another week with us. I hope it was fun. And I'm just generally sorry for everything you just experienced. Same. Bye. <laughs> Bye.